this uh, go for the full hour hours or some time like um, yeah no this is this is full hour so that breaks everything um, but again like we won't do this like we're gonna see but this could be hard for you yeah I know that's what I was saying. like I mean an hour long tumbling is more than we ever do so yeah you know um, should be hard so I might even like maybe do that just like some wrestling. Um, Doing Tay Tay? Cold. Cold? I know, I took the heat off now. What's her dad gets from? Go outside. This is my dog's so Yeah, right. Hang on. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> How are we looking on there? Was it looking good? How are we doing, everyone? Everyone see all right? I'll probably end up, uh, Changing that, maybe picking it up once we get rolling. Uh, my first time live, so bear with us here. It's start about nine minutes.
Listen to the wind blow. Oh, we got. Oh, North Carolina. I can't really see. My selfie stand isn't the best, so I'll read all the comments after and respond to them. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hopefully staying safe. Reaching. Technical difficulty number one. Selfie stand went down. <laughs> that looks pretty solid. Yeah, I, you're actually you're pretty good. That's what Tom had it here. How's the angle, Federici? How we looking? Good. All right. See everything? Oh, it's not live though, it's a little bit behind. Oh, yeah. oh okay. How's the angle, Federici? How are we looking? See everything? Colder out than yesterday. Mats are a little tough. That'll be fun for Dom. All right. What's up, everyone? Coach Weber here, Excal Wrestling. Um, you know, thank you for having me today. Uh, appreciate the opportunity. Hope everyone's doing well at home, staying safe, staying healthy. Uh, you know, that's the most important thing right now. Uh, this is just extra. You know, getting this practice in. Um, before I get into what we're actually going to do routine-wise, uh, a big part of wrestling. You know, we always talk about mental toughness, being tough. Um, and I have a lot of wrestlers come up to me and ask me like, how how do you get mentally tougher? You know, and it's, it's a good question. Um, we spend a ton of time getting physically stronger, working on our body, you know, all those things, working our technique as a wrestler. Um, but our mind, you know, is probably without that, you know, nothing else really works. So, um, you know, this is a great example. And there, there's always ways physically that you can get mental toughness, you know, just pushing yourself harder and harder, further and further. Um, but even that is kind of more of a physical thing to me. Um, it's something that we're just used to. Really to grow mentally, you have to come out and do things that you're not mentally comfortable with, right? Um, you know, and this is a great, great scenario to kind of do that um, adapt and overcome kind of thing here. You know, this is a situation that we can't control. Um, you know, we're all in it together. However, how we respond to it is everything, right? Just like any kind of negative uh, situation that comes up in our life, you know, we have two options, you know, go down to that, that self-loathing pity party and hang out with all those people or find a way to overcome the situation and, and grow from it and thrive during it is actually what we try to do, you know, so, um, you know, we already spent the time identifying that this situation stinks, um, you know, that's all we need to do. Now find a way how we're going to make ourselves better through it 
and uh, and grow from it. So, um, you know, not getting too much into that, but you know, use this opportunity to grow. Don't uh, don't fall into that self pity, you know, loathing party. You know, um, nothing good comes from there. So, talking about what we're gonna do today, uh, took me about 60 minutes. Probably should be pretty hard. Um, this is more of our warm up. I'm gonna try to stretch it out for 60 minutes and show you guys what we do. Give you guys some different looks. Uh, really. Mr. Baker said it yesterday kind of best, you know, position is everything. And for us, moving from good position to better position is the main meat and potatoes of our meal. Um, you know, where our hands are going and all those little smaller details and the, the technique aspect, uh, you know, is really the fine tuning of it. But if you're moving your body in the position correctly, you're going to be a lot better wrestler. Um, beginners, you know, K through four, my guys, this is, we spend a ton of time on this, getting these down. Um, learning how to just move your body. You know, you want to hit this high complex technique, but your your son or daughter can't do a forward roll, backward roll. Um, you know, it's just not really realistic. So I believe, you know, we believe at Wyoming Seminary X Cal, uh, these ten exercises really help improve your wrestling game, just your overall athleticism, um, which is really what's going to separate, you know, most people. Uh, so without any further ado, I got my main man Don Federici here. Um, he's going to be my test dummy. He's going to do the whole thing. The whole workout is an uh, individual workout. Um, we're focusing on kind of, you know, you guys in your living room or small mat. Um, this circle right here. We do this even in our big room. This is what we're trying to do. Um, to stay inside the circle while you're tumbling, it's going to require, you know, explosiveness, not lazy, elongated tumbling, stuff like that. Just moving your body with force and power. Um, and that's really the main thing that we get from tumbling. It's just that force generating energy while we're hitting our attacks. Uh, so we're just going to start real quick with a little loosening up just to get our bodies warm. Uh, we're going to go about 40, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Um, we'll try to get through the whole workout. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so without any further ado, here we go. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. We'll start the clock. 60 minutes. Here we go. Hope everyone has fun. Let's get it. Jumping jacks, begin. Let's go right now. We're just full range of motion. Just loosen our body up. Touch our hands. Touch our hips. You know, we're just loosening it up right now. No injuries while we're on quarantine. That's going to be a good thing. So we're not trying to kill ourselves right now. Just loosening it up. Getting our body moving. Just going to do some full range motion exercises before we get into our actual tumbling here. Uh, we are already at XCAL, do everything by the clock, everything's by the clock, uh, you know, breaks, when you're supposed to be on the mat, off the mat, start of practice, everything. Um, I'm just gonna breathe, stretch, breathing, we focus on breathing a lot, in your nose, out your mouth, slowing your heart rate down. Next exercise is gonna be windmills, better reach will demonstrate, begin. Straight up again, just getting that full range of motion. Just loosen our body up, waking it up. Turn the tunes up a little bit. Hope everyone can hear me all right. I think I got Dom's dad out there monitoring comments, so if anything's can't see, you can't hear me, just put it in the comments, he'll come out and, and tell me, I'm sure. Five, four, three, two, rest. And shaking it out, breathing, I mean, it's gonna get your heart rate up too much. Getting our bodies loose. Get down on the mat and do some push-ups. Whatever push up you want, begin. Getting that blood flowing. Gonna be fun for Dom. These mats are pretty hard. A little colder out than yesterday. If at any time you can't keep up with this, you know, just stay at your own pace. Again, this shouldn't even be hard for Dom. I mean, we've been doing it forever. Um, typically, we use this about 20, 30 minutes for our warm up. Um, you know, we're going to try to put an hour workout together, so cardio should be pretty tough. 
if at any time, especially when we're going for time, if you can't do one of the exercises, just substitute it for a forward or backward roll, recover. Sit up, so we can do the same thing. Crossfit sit up, bottom of our feet together. We're gonna touch the mat, touch our toes. Again, just full range of motion, just loosening up right now. A couple days of loosen up, then we'll start our warm up here, start getting the heart rate up, break that sweat. Any questions after the video, feel free to private message me if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to try to cover as much as I can here with what we do in the tumbling, the things we're looking for, but really recover. It's endless. There's a, there's a million different things that we get from these 10 exercises and then you can expand on them. Uh, I'll show you a little bit what I mean on that. Uh, you know, you can add weights while you're tumbling. There's a bunch of different things, ankle weights, plates, stuff like that while we're doing it. A little modified mountain climbers here, just kind of kicking those hips through, loosening our hips up. Deep air squats. Again, just loosen up our knees. Go ahead, some deep air squats. second on 15 second off we do that for a couple different workouts that we do um, kind of simulating you know going hard in a match and then kind of staying solid for 15 seconds you know sometimes we'll fill this 15 seconds with like a stance motion just a good solid stance staying in position while you're tired Shake it out. Now we're going to start with some front bridge. Rolling our necks out. We're going to do everything about 30 seconds here. So front bridge. You know, get it on your own. Forward, backward, ear to ear. Loosen up, circling. Right, freestyle break goals, make sure we're up on our toes, not being extended, just getting some good ones. Okay, not trying to kill ourselves right now, just getting the blood flowing, getting loose. I'm not really sure the name of this next one. So I called Mr. Baker, asked him what he said, so we're gonna go with what he's got. Uh, we've got some Russian neck rolls. Go ahead, Dom. So we're just keeping our head in one place, keeping our head and hands in one place. Flipping over, coming back. All right, high leg over. All right, just keeping that head in one place. 
Do a couple one direction, maybe try to switch it up so you can go the other way. You know, we're always focusing on, especially on tumbling, doing things both sides. Right, we don't attack left side, right side of the body. Uh, we, don't, we try to always do everything on both sides. Um, and you'll see that as we get through the, the exercises here with tumbling. Okay, now we're going into that. Neck flips, neck flips. He's gonna post his head, hopping over, hopping back. Kicking one leg, the other leg, both legs. Again, there's a million different varieties of all these exercises that you can start doing. Uh, making sure one side's not stronger than the other. Uh, you know, you're not unflexible on one side or the other. A bunch of different things that this will expose. Um, I think it's kind of find a wall somewhere if you can. Um, if not, you can just do it back arches here. You're gonna walk down, walk your hands down the wall. Um, anywhere you can here. You know, if you can do this if you're at home and you can just do a back arch to the floor, come up, that works too. Just a couple big back arches here. Good work, Tom, good work. All right, Tom, we're gonna take a minute break. Hydrate a little bit if you need it. We're gonna get ready, we're gonna go for our first six minutes of tumbling. Um, the introductory, we're going to spend some time, more time on other exercises, on some exercises more than others. Uh, a couple of them are pretty simple, pretty basic stuff, um, and some of them get complicated and have some uh, pretty serious techniques to them. Starting at 50, starting at 50. Again, everything we do, we the same way we roll at XCAL, we got the clock, you know, you got a minute break, that's gathering your thoughts, you know. Kind of just recapping in your mind what just went on, getting a drink, stretching something that's you know tight, sore. So our tumbling is compromised. Our, our basic tumbling is compromised of ten different exercises. Um, some of them we put together, left shoulder, right shoulder, but it is two different tumbles. Um, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, two different tumbles, um, but we do them as one. So first one we're gonna start with is just a basic forward roll. Okay, uh, important, you know, don't put your hands on the mat and always get to your feet. If you keep those two things on, you know, that'll help us. Try to stay inside that circle. You know, just that simple forward roll. Um, not too much to talk about here. Again, his hands aren't on the mat, coming up, not being extended. Staying inside the circle. If you don't have the circle, but you do want to get back in the wrestling room, again, we're trying to stay inside this small space. So it's kind of convenient, um, you know, for the application that we're using right now, being in our living room or at home in our small room, you know, this circle is what we try to do all our tumbles in all the time. Uh, warming up, you know, you're at a big arena, there's not a lot of place to warm up. Boom, 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 hit your tumbles real quick in this little spot by the table and you're good. Uh, backward roll, second one. Same thing for this one, we're not trying to use our hands. We're trying to get to our feet, pop in, get into those. If you have to use your hands, go ahead again, get to your feet. Um, if you can't, again, find ways to generate more energy. This is what it's all about, is finding that explosiveness. Um, pretty simple. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Again, should be almost like a standing Grammy. You're really tucking that shoulder under, hiding your feet. Changing direction whenever you have to. Okay, and we're gonna get into this when we start doing it for time, right? But right now, anytime, this is your circle. So mad awareness, when your feet get there, you gotta change direction and execute your tumble a different way. Okay, backward extension, same thing now. We're gonna sit, we're gonna push up, extend those hands, get to our feet, extend those hands, send those arms, make sure you're getting all the way up, pushing up, getting that little pop. Again, not complicated, not too much. Um, the first four, our first five exercises, pretty simple. Now we're gonna get into a little bit more technique, um, a little bit more explosion. The first one we got is a neck. Neck kip, okay. Um, he's gonna do a super slow first time, right? He's gonna go right down to the back of his neck and then get that pop up, all right? Um, this is a, a great explosive exercise. You know, you really gotta kick your feet out enough to get it. Uh, now to start hitting a couple back and forth. All right, you can still do these with some power here, all right? And that's when, again, not top of your head, but the back of your neck. It's a neck kip, you're kicking your feet out and up, go one side for him. Keep those feet out and up, throwing your hands forward. You know, when we're attacking, knowing where our hands are, right? Not leaving something behind, putting it on the mat, all those things when we're tumbling, 
you know, use your hands, know where they're at. Um, next, head bonks. Okay, head bonks. Now we actually are going to our head, and it's two of them, right? We go, uh, it's only one exercise, it's only counts as one exercise, but we always do two, put two body movements together. Uh, so it's just hands. All right, it's got to change direction again, small space. No hands if you can. If you have to use your hands again, go ahead. All right, change in that direction. And you'll see what we mean by change of direction when we put a time on it, time limit on there, and you got to do all 10 exercises. All right. Um, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, right again, two different directions, his look pretty good, you know, if I were to do my cartwheel left, cartwheel right, they don't look that good, especially to my bad side, my weak side, um, there are kind of deficiencies that you're trying to take out, you know, to get to that next level, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, alright, pretty simple, uh, you just call it a bunch of different things, scorpions, uh, I think there were olives when I was around in high school and stuff. All right, we'll do one, no hands. Okay, just so you guys can see it, right? He's really gonna lead with his hips. He's gonna push his hips out, make himself like a ball. See how far his feet come up without even his hands. All right, one more time, no hands. All right, um, here, big arch, feet are coming all the way up. Now to execute the technique, he's just gonna do a big back arch, put his hips in, hands out, push, right? Get to his feet, right? Um, that's the last part. If you can just get over, never done these before, that's good. But once you've got the motion down, work on again bringing your hand and head with you, getting to your feet, not touching your knees. All right, a couple more. Facing your hips in, pop in. So he's throwing his hands and head going forward. Uh, we'll go through one time, just real slow, of all all ten exercises. How we use it as uh, cardio conditioning, and then uh, we'll start running through, see what you guys got. So. Here, just still real slow. It's gonna look like forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck kip, head bonk, head bonk, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, scorpion. All right, then you stand up, breathe, look tough. All right. Again, we take another minute, gather your thoughts. Uh, we'll start running through this for some time, see how you guys are doing at home. I'll check the comments real quick, see if I'm going too fast, see how you guys are picking it up. Um, again, we're going to try to get as far as we can, but you have to, I'm going to let you get that basic 10 move exercise down. Um, so we'll see how we can go from there. Okay, two minutes, quick rinse, 42. As I was, uh, yeah, 42, we'll start, we'll start the tumbling for time. 42, hydrate, stretch, do what you need to do. We'll go 43, it's not that, uh, we don't need that much of a break. Again, go at your own pace, just trying to introduce you guys to some of this. Might be a little hard to pick up, not being here, not seeing it in person. Um, any questions, private message me on Facebook, send me a message anywhere. Um, do the best to answer you guys, whatever I got. So in our room, in our room, we got nine circles. Uh, we have our athletes go through all nine circles in six minutes. Yeah, you know, it's approximately 90 attacks, if you will, in six minutes. If you're hitting 90 attacks in a, in a high school match in your six-minute match, um, that's that's a good speed, good pace. You know, you're definitely in shape. We use it to see, you know, how guys are if they're in shape, out of shape. If they can't do these 10 exercises, you know nine circles in six minutes and you know we gotta get some cardio up um you know you can prove on that i mean um a lot of these guys i think bo barlett did it in like three minutes you know so um six minutes is ample amount of time um if you're not making that mark right now don't worry about it uh you know obviously first time going through so all right we're gonna start now we'll start now Don doesn't need six minutes we're gonna go through all ten i'll try to call them out and keep a pace actually we'll still start at 42 i'll talk a little bit more um, so you're going to do these 10 exercises 10 times, right? 10 exercises 10 times, we'll start at 41, got to go to 35. you got 6 minutes to do all 10 exercises 10 times progressively. That means I can't do four, 10 forward rolls, 10 backward rolls. i got to go through the sequence, forward roll to scorpion, and then start back over, forward roll to scorpion. Um, I'll be calling him out as he does them. You know, maybe even go a little bit slower than he is. 
just so you guys can try to keep up. Depending on what you're trying to get out of this, if you're trying to actually learn the ex uh, techniques, you know, go at your own pace. If you're just trying to get a good workout, get your heart rate up. Anything you can't do, substitute that forward roll or backward roll. That will keep your pace up, keep your heart rate up. I can just go at the pace. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it pretty slow. This first one, keep it pretty slow. Ready, begin. Forward roll, backward roll. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Backward extension. Neck, hip, head, bonk, head, bonk. Heart wheel left, heart wheel right. Scorpion. That's one, nine more, here we go. Forward roll. Back roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, back extension, hip, hip, head bump, head bump, on the left, on the right, four piece, two, four roll, back roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, back extension, neck, hip, head bump, head bump. Arm wheel left, arm wheel right, scorpion, that's three, seven more, right? Heart rate should be getting up, forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck kip, head bump, head bump, arm wheel left, arm wheel right, scorpion, keep it track tank, that's four. Forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck, hip, head, bonk, head, bonk, arm roll left, take your arm roll right, scorpion, three, we're way ahead of time, that's five, that's five, we still got five minutes, okay, that pace is probably real high, probably you guys are like, wait, you guys are going way too fast. We'll try to slow it down for the next five minutes. Finish our last five here. Here we go, forward roll. Backward roll. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. Backward extension. Neck kip. Head bunk. Head bunk. Arm wheel left. Arm wheel right. Scorpion. Six. Four more. A lot of time, a lot of time. See a lot of these guys, I mean, I would push him, he could have banged it out probably three minutes, half the time. But if you're doing it in six, that's still a really good cardio, you're still in a lot of shape. If you haven't tried these coaches at home, this stuff is hard. If you're moving your whole body, there is no, you know, another great way to kind of find the groundhog in the room, you know, this is it right here. There is no, you can't do this lazy. You gotta move your whole body, you gotta get to your feet, so it's hard. Four roll, back roll, left shoulder, Right shoulder, backward extension, neck hip, head bump, head bump, arm wheel left, arm wheel right, scorpion, three more, three more, four roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck hip, head bump, head bump, arm wheel left, I will right, scorpion. Last two, we got three and a half minutes, we're good. Forward roll, oh you don't get very very Backward roll, left shoulder, he didn't know what he got into. Right shoulder, backward extension, neck, hip, head bump, head bump. I will left, I will right, scorpion. Again, just get your heart rate up, focus on that breathing. Deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. You know, we got that 30 second, you know, in between periods now. Um, you know, take advantage of that. There's nothing I'm really gonna say as a coach. You know, a couple little things, maybe strategy, but other than that, while I'm talking, you're breathing. All right, let's get that last one in. Forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, that hip, head bump. Head bump, heart wheel left, heart wheel right, scorpion. Good work, Don. Breathe. 
Okay, you guys that are still going at home, just keep going. You still got two minutes and 30 seconds, a lot of time. I'll just keep calling them out. You guys go at your own pace. All right, forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck kip, head bunk, head bunk, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, scorpion. Two minutes, two minutes, forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck kip, head bonk, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, scorpion. Again, we all usually do this uh, as a conditioning or part of our warm-up. Um, it's not supposed to be an hour-long workout, um, so we might even slow it down. I got a couple more of those tumble matches in there. Maybe we'll do one or two more at that speed, and the rest will just kind of try to break it down, give you guys uh, you know, as much info and, as we can here. Um, but to keep going at this pace, it might be pretty difficult. You can see, though, him moving generating energy, you know, it forces you, when you put that time limit on there, you know, it really forces your athletes to go, to go faster, you know, to go harder, to generate more energy, um, which is what we believe in, you know, is the most important thing, you know, from position to position, good position to better position, you know, being able to move your body, get there with, with power, with force, right? You know, last 30, you guys should be finishing up, forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, Right shoulder, backward extension, neck kip, head bonk, head bonk, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, scorpion. You guys that are just finishing up, take your two minutes, 33, we'll start again. Um, I'm probably going to have Dom add, add a shot to it, um, or a sprawl. You guys at home can just stay with the 10 basic exercises. You know, coaches, you can see those one more element that we can add. Um, now you're adding, you know, 90 to 100 more attacks, if you will, to the regimen that they have to do in six minutes. Again, just more work, generating more energy, making their body move faster, harder, which is what it's all about. Breathe in, stretching right now during these breaks. We're not just, you know, two minute breaks seems like a lot. But, you know, right now when you're tumbling, if you felt something was a little tight, you should be stretching it right now, slowing that heart rate down all the way to rest, getting that full recovery. Again, these are simulated matches. We call them tumble matches. So, I mean, you should be, you should be feeling it. It shouldn't be easy by any means. One more minute. Yeah, also one circle makes it a lot harder when you're moving through the nine circles. Uh, might be a little bit easier. You get to you know, stand up and run a little bit. This is a lot of changing direction. Uh, makes it, One more element makes it a little bit harder. So, um, yeah, well, yeah, you got a shot or a scroll. Um, we'll go defense. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same 10 exercises, but we're going to add a sprawl after each attack. Um, or after each tumble, again, just adding another element, getting your body, you know, you know translating more into wrestling. Um, you know, these are basic 10. We have a lot of stuff that we incorporate, a lot more wrestling specific stuff while we're doing it. Um, this is just one example. Here we go. Four roll. Now you're going to sprawl. Then you go back and roll. Then you're going to sprawl. So you're just going to go through all 10 and add that sprawl. Left shoulder, right shoulder, sprawl. Net or backward extension. Sprawl, change direction, circle in, neck kick, sprawl. Now we're giving me about six to eight minutes to finish this. Head bumps, sprawl, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, sprawl, scorpion. Get 
to your feet. Sprawl. Right, staying in that circle. That's one. Nine more. Nine more. Four roll. Roll. Backward roll. Sprawl. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. Sprawl. Backward extension. Sprawl. And it was head kick to it. Sprawl. Head bump. Head bump. Sprawl. Alright, cartwheel left. Cartwheel right. Scorpion. Scorpion. That's two. Get it, Fenrir. You get it. On backwards. Roll. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. Roll. Backward extension. Roll. Nick. Gone through twice in one minute. Uh, that's a really good pace. You know, keep that pace up. You're in shape. You're ready to go. So just keep going at your own pace. You got six to eight minutes here to finish these. You know, if you want to incorporate the sprawl, you got about that eight minutes. Um, if you're not, keep it at that six minute mark. If you're just doing the first ten, you, know, you can just follow with Dom here. Him doing that sprawl to give you guys a little extra time to see what exercises he's executing. Kind of talk through where you guys are going. I hope you're picking up, you know, a little bit from this, just seeing where what we're doing. You know, any kind of tumbling, any kind of gymnastics is huge. It's really gonna help you guys be able to move. routines and regiments that you'd like to. Uh-oh. Now we're facing backwards here. That's my ugly mug. There we go. Uh, technical difficulties here. Don't want to invite anybody. What's up, guys? There we are, sorry. And now he's gonna add that sprawl, or that shot, kinda get the same thing there. Bear with me guys, sorry. Not the best virtual, technological guy out there. Okay, now he's gonna add that shot here at 28. Here he goes. Forward roll, shot. Backward roll. Again, just lots of change in direction. I'm just gonna pick this up now. Walk around with it. That neck kip, shot. Head bonk, change of direction, head bonk. Power shot. The more discipline you want to be, the more you stay in that circle. 
really forces you to get that quick twitch muscle reaction that we're looking for as a wrestler. See, now his brain's got to work. He's getting tired a little bit. Now his brain's got to process what he should be doing. You know, we'll add, we'll add a lot of mental things while we're tumbling and their brain's starting to get in that, you know, overworked state of mind. You know, and then we'll make them skip circles, you know, do reverse order. Um, that way they have to think why they're getting tired, why they're working. Even just remembering the sequence. I mean, most of my guys got it down. You know, again, we spend a lot of time with these 10 exercises, but, you know, just having to think of the 10 exercises while you're getting tired is, is, is very beneficial. Twenty six Federici will hit it one more time and then we'll kind of move on. Um, do a little wrestling specific stuff. I don't know if I'll use this whole hour. I think again, you know, I just want to show you guys the tumbling routine. Um, to do it for an hour might be a little much. Uh, you know, it's, just, <laughs> it's a lot of work, but. You know, again, we'll usually do this cardio part one or two times at the end of practice, you know, sometimes for conditioning. Um, a lot of times we'll use it as our warm up, not so much for time, just moving our body, getting loose, being athletic. Um, you know, I know like a lot of coaches like to go right into their drilling. They have their core stuff that they want to do as part of their warm up. You know, they'll say tumbling is wasting time. It's not wrestling specific, kind of calculated like, like running. Um, I don't agree with that. I don't think it's in the same category at all. Um, you know, again, wrestling is moving your body from position to better position. Yeah. Um, so, being able to tumble, being able to move. Dom's taking a pee break. Um, I'll walk over. Kind of show the, 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 the 10 exercises there. Where we at? 10 exercises, forward roll, backward roll, left shoulder, right shoulder, backward extension, neck kip, head bump, cartwheel left, cartwheel right, scorpion. Right? Left shoulder, right shoulder's done as one. Cartwheel left, cartwheel right's done as one. Yeah, I guess why he's gonna be talking. Uh, Right here, if you're finishing up, go ahead and continue to finish up. We'll go through one more sequence here. Um, hit some stance motion, little high knees. Got a little game for us to play at the end that we can play with. Um, we'll see how that works out. Try to come up with a game that was interactive for everybody that we can do, play, <laughs> play with each other at home. Uh, we like to we like to play a lot of games, you know, um, especially with our K through eight guys. You know, having fun is 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 important, right? Uh, these guys work really hard, you know, and that and that's you know that's fun when you're winning. That's fun when you get older, um, but working hard necessarily isn't fun, right? So make sure for your young guys, you're keeping it fun, uh, playing games, keeping the mood light, you know. And again, it doesn't mean we work hard. We work harder than you know, I think the most. Uh, but we keep it fun, you know, we keep these guys wanting to come back. We have a lot of K-8 athletes that, that go all year round, um, you know, and, and they're excited to be there. They're not burned out, they're not, they're not there because their parents are making them, you know, etc. you know. So, try to keep it light, keep it fun as long as you can. You know, once you get into high school and stuff, it becomes a little more serious, a little more business-like, you know. So, take advantage of the glory days, K-8, let them have fun, let them learn to love the sport, get their body to move. You know, on will, we'll be all right. We've got about 18 minutes left. We'll go a little uh, stance motion. We'll go two stance motion matches. 
Uh, I'll call him out, just go move in, we go six minute match. Uh, I'll do that twice. Do a little conditioning, different kind of conditioning. Again, that 45 second on, 15 second off. Staying solid during that 15 seconds, breathe in. Uh, play a quick game and get out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tumbling aspect of it. Um, you know, again, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, you know, stop by XCAL anytime. We have drop ins. So, so for ado, we're gonna do a little stance motion match. We'll start here. Ready, stance, motion, move in, go. Right, so right now you're just free flowing, just moving, no shots, no defense, just getting in that stance, being in good position. You know, hand fakes, head fakes, level change, all that kind of motion from space that you're doing here. Uh, focusing, you know, a lot of what you're doing with your hands. You know, really trying to visualize having that partner in front of you is important while you're doing this. Um, stance motion is probably one of the least fun things to do, but one of the most important. You know, this is where we live, live or die right here is in this stance motion kind of mode, uh, mindset here. Just focus in, reach a lot with that back hand, not so much our lead hand. Got to caught a couple times this year with that. Just really focus on moving with that, that back hand. Yeah. Two ways to create, to create openings with our motion and with our hands moving him. Not just one. Not the best guys, you won't get that angle. You gotta be moving them with your hands as you're moving your feet, circling, moving. All right. Okay, so breathe in, breathe in right now. Now when you're staying solid, that last 15 seconds, you're up, you're up by a point, that guy's coming. It's not the time to run and stand up and get in bad, bad position, right? It's time to really buckle down, stay in that good position. You know, chest over knee, keeping that lead, that lead hand home. All those good things here. Keep that motion up, keep your feet moving, keep it up, nothing lazy here. I'm not calling out again, this is your stance, your motion. Um, I'm not a very scripted guy, right? Even technique, you know, I'll fix whatever you want to hit, you know. That, that's just the way we kind of work, same thing at yeah, Wyoming Seminary. We're not, we're not a regiment, regimented team, you know, we have our core stuff that we like to hit, make sure you're doing well, but other than that, you know, the art, the fun of wrestling is being creative and doing your own stuff. Time, check it out, all right? Being creative is, is an important part. Um, at least my belief, I don't like being scripted. You know, come in, hit what you want to hit, and, and make it work. You know, make it work against the best guys in the nation, and I don't care what it is. It's good. <coughs> Shorten those up a little bit. Stance, motion, moving, go. Now we're working on a little bit of defense. We start down block, circling, moving, rolling. You know, rotating, changing our feet when we're moving. Not being predictable, not setting patterns. A small circle, make sure we're circling when we come up. You know, again, scorpion, right? That last exercise, that sprawl, keeping your hips in the mat, right? Instead of coming up. You'll see those 10 exercises a lot and a lot of the moves we hit, uh, or a, way, a lot of the way wrestling is translating now. You know, Jason Knoll, Stanley Granby's when he's getting taken down, stuff like that. Again, the more your body can move, the less limits you have. that motion defense mindset right now defense mindset again we're up you know you short time it's not time to get in bad position and get be standing up trying to run away stay in good position here work your fundamental defense down blocks hands in between you know sprawls all that good stuff breaking position, you know, work discipline, we spend a lot of time on stuff like this, yes, we've seen his level hasn't came up, you know, he's staying there, staying focused throughout time, breathe in, shake it out, breathe, third period here, we have a little offense, again, your offense, your shots, set up, fakes, trying to go all the way through, Stance, motion, move and go. And face, head face, body face, move those feet, those feet moving. Now we're looking to take clean shots. Moving them with our hands, setting them up. Again, 
Again, we do a lot of our workouts. That's why I kind of was uh, thankful for this opportunity. You know, a lot of our workouts revolve around this small circle right here. You know, we do a lot of stuff, a lot of warming up, you know, by ourselves without a partner. Um, you know, there's a lot of different reasons for that. Probably not going to get into, but, uh, you know. Of the guys drilling their best stuff right before a match and, and, and showing the guy they're about to wrestle everything they're about to hit on them. You know, to each his own, you know. But this is the warm up. You do this stuff, your body's ready to go. Just keeping that going. Got another 40 seconds here. Keep that motion up. Hand fakes, head fakes, body fakes, level change, open them up, move them before you take that shot. The artwork's everything in between that shot, right? The setups is the magic part. It's the part that makes your life easy. Open them up before you take that shot. Get one, 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 get one. Ah, check it out, breathe. Nice period to put all together. Shot, defense, offense, defense, stance, motion. That overtime period. Staying solid here, breathing, recover. In your nose, out your mouth. Breathe. Last one, here we go. Stance, motion, move and go. Now put it all together, hand fakes, head fakes, body fakes, offense, defense, defense to offense, all of it. Just really being able to visualize here is important, right? Let's see what we got here, a little mix. like this again it's not much difference than we're gonna do when we're not on quarantine you know don't make excuses find a way to keep getting better second off um, for this 15 we'll be able to rest and breathe you know what, what I'll do with my guys especially when we're trying to really dial in is use that time to go back to your stance motion again stay solid um, you know it's not all firing shots going ecstatic being crazy right and that last 15 seconds just being solid wrestling's a lot of, of short bursts you know staying solid in between you know All right, so the last thing we're gonna do, I'll show you first, right? It's just three different exercises, just quick feet, which we all know to foot fire, right? Pound our feet quick. Um, we're gonna go high knees, driving your knees up, right? Try to get them above your waist, really drive them up, you know, especially the more tired you get. And then the last thing we call them tuck jumps, and that's just dump, jumping up, bringing your knees to your chest when you're going, right? Again, 15 seconds each exercise, 15 seconds off. Not looking tired when you're done, breathing, standing up, breathing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I swallowed here. Keep breathing. Get that heart rate all the way down. 
max effort, right? I'll give you 15 seconds to recover here. We'll go through this twice. Go through this twice, play a game, call it a day. Again, appreciate you guys having me. Um, stay safe out there, hope all is well. Keep finding ways to get better. Fred Bachman, you the man for setting this up, appreciate it. All right, here we go. Starting at 12. Put fire up. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Bump, 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 bump. Bump those feet, bump those feet. Yeah, Max over here, bump those feet. Good work, Tom, good work, Tom, good work, good work. Here we go, here we go. High knees, get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. Driving those knees up, get them up above our waist. Driving, using our arm, get our body involved here, right? That's what we're doing on quarantine. Let's go. Yeah. Tough jobs. Get them up, get them up, get them up. Here we go. That boy, Tom, that boy, Tom, get it. That's the easiest workout I've done here. I just gotta stay around the top. This is great. Get those knees up, get them 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 up. Rest. Breathe. Don't look tired. Don't put your hands on your head. Don't put your hands on your hips. Are we bending over right now? Stand up. Breathe. Feel good. Don't give me confidence. Looking all sad and tired right now. Stand up and breathe. Slowing that heart rate down. Getting ready to put fire. Up. All right, get that 15 seconds. Comes quick. We're tired again. And put fire, put fire, put fire. Pumping hard here. Pump, 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 pump. Five, four, three, two. High knees, get them up, get them up, get them up, drive them up. We're just gonna go through this one. That's why I show you guys. I'm not here to break you off today, right? So we'll play a little game. We've got little cards. See what we got, see what this brings. Call it a day. Come up, jumps! in your nose, out your mouth. It's that 30 seconds, right? We're only giving you 15, but that 30 seconds in between rounds right now, in between periods, breathe in. Breathe in. Third period, ready? Foot fire, go! Keep working hard, keep working hard here. Good work, everybody. Appreciate you coming in, taking a look at what we do here at XCAL. I need to get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Last one, Dom. Come on, Dom. Come on, Dom. Good work, son. Good work, baby. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Up, jumps. Last 15 seconds. Last 15 seconds. Take this 15 seconds again, don't look tired, don't fade, stay up, head up, chest up, looking tough, breathe in, not looking tired. Take another minute here, breathe, we'll play a little game here, got some cards, a little bit of, feel a little bit more cardio, a little bit more conditioning, nothing hard. Have Dom pick like 10 cards, we'll designate the suits, different kind of exercise, the number that we pull will be how many we're going to do. We'll have them pull 10 cards and then knock them out, call it a day. Again, appreciate you guys. Hope everyone's staying safe. Don't let this time, you know, get you guys discouraged. Um, you know, I'm a self-employed business guy. You know, this is hurting, hurting the pocketbook a little bit, but, you know, everyone's going through the same stuff and, and we'll be better afterwards. So, you know, stay positive during this time, adversity. Enjoy the time with your family, you know. Could be worse, could be worse, could be worse. Just gotta stay inside, and spend time with the people we love, find ways to get creative, train, you know, there's a bunch of different ways. See a lot of guys, you know, the wrestling community is awesome, you know, getting out there and, and putting stuff online, workouts and stuff for living rooms. And so, it's out there. Again, don't make an excuse to not get better right now, all right? Okay, I'm gonna pick 10 cards here. 10 of them. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I uh, will do hearts or push-ups. 
Remember this, Taylor? Because I'm going to forget. Hearts are push ups, diamonds are sit ups. Um, jumping jacks will do spades. Or, yeah, spades. Clubs. And clubs will do squats. squats. Alright, remember that? You guys remember that yeah. I said? I'm sorry. All right. First one, eight of clubs. What was that, squats? Yeah. Alright. Eight of clubs, eight squats, get it. Seven, eight. Ooh, jack of clubs, ten squats. Uh, eleven, we'll go eleven. Eleven squats, eleven squats. <laughs> Queen of clubs, twelve squats. Twelve squats. Better reach, he picked him. Get mad at him. Get mad at him. Could be doing jumping jacks or something right now. One of the easy ones. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. Easy one. Easy one. Two jumping jacks. Two jumping jacks. Eight of diamonds. Eight jumping jacks. Six of spades. Six push ups. We need push ups. That is only as we'll make them up as we go. Alright. Queen of Hearts, Queen of Hearts. So is that sit ups? Yeah. It is now sit ups. 13, 13 sit ups. Four diamonds, four push ups. Jack of spades, 11 squats, squad. no, club of squats, jumping jacks, yes. jumping jacks, I don't know, I think that might have been that. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Three of clubs, three squats, three squats. Alright, again, thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, appreciate it. Everyone stay safe. If you guys have any questions, private message me. Uh, we're located at Kingston, Kingston, Pennsylvania. Uh, the Great Hall, home of the Wyoming Seminary, Blue Knights. So if you're in the area, feel free to stop in. If you got any questions, private message me. Thank you guys so much for having me. Stay safe, everyone. Stay patient. Right, Stay inside, do what they're asking. It'll be over a lot faster. Good work, everyone. Thank you.